Hi guys, in this video, I'm going to make lamb kima tacos. You can use any tacos of your liking. I'm using this white corn tacos. You can use flow tacos or any other tacos. And I'm using grass-fed ground lamb and you can use any meat of your choice. Here I have added two big yellow onions for 450 grams of lamb keema. If you want more or less gravy, you can always add or reduce onions based on your meat quantity. You can also use tomato puree instead of small chopped tomatoes if you have it in hand or else chopped tomatoes would be fine as well. I'm using avocado oil for today's dish but you can use any cooking oil of your choice. chopped onions well and add a pinch of salt. Adding a pinch of salt speeds up the cooking process of the chopped onions. Add one tablespoon of ginger garlic paste of your choice or you can also add like raw ginger and garlic pieces. I prefer to use ginger garlic paste. Mix the onions well until they turn golden brown in color. Mix the tomatoes and onions really well and cover with the lid and cook for about 5 to 10 minutes. Now let's heat these tacos. Take a pan and fry these tacos in a low heat. You can use oil if you want but I'm not using any oil here. Fry these tacos by flipping them every 20 seconds so that they cook evenly.
It's time to add in our lamb keema. Mix the keema really well with the onions and tomato mixture. Cover the lid and cook for about 2 to 3 minutes. Add water and mix really well. Adding water helps our keema to cook really fast. While our keema is cooking, let's get our taco toppings ready. Here I'm chopping some cilantro and mint leaves. If you are allergic to cilantro or if you don't like the taste of it, you can skip this step. This is totally optional. But I really like the taste of cilantro and I think it also adds a great color to the dish. Set some chopped onions aside while you were chopping onions in the beginning. I forgot to do that so I am chopping some onions again. Let's check on the keema. Seems like our curry is really cooking well. This is the right time to do a taste test. If you feel like this dish needs more salt or chili powder or any other spices, this is the right time to add in. Here I added some salt and chili powder. I personally find this recipe very simple and easy to make. I hope that you try this recipe and if you do, let me know in the comment section below. Bye!